All right, I've been really eager to use the flouncy mold that I received from Stephanie at Creative Paradise, and I'll show you that mold in a little bit, but I'm showing you the project that I just laid up in the kiln. So this is um, a stainless steel former that's got some fiber liner around it. I've got some different clear glass in there, including some irid. Uh, what's it called? Gosh, it's bullseye and it's got irid and confetti. It's really kind of cool. So we'll see what that looks like as a base. And then I've got lots of vitrograph. Some of this came from uh, a friend who makes vitrograph that doesn't sell it, uh, but you know who you are, so thank you very much. Somebody else, um, or some of this came from Henry at SS Glass Art. I think that's it. So the friend that I have, and then um, Henry at SS Glass Art on on, uh, on Etsy, so I'll drop a link to Henry's page. And I just went with some blues and greens, and then this um, fun red, it's called Solar. It's got uh, some uh, red and then dichroic in it. So I'm gonna put this in for a long firing. It'll probably be thick and I'll have to put it back in for another firing to spread out before I put it on my mold to slump. All right, this is the piece out of the kiln and it looks good. It has, um, it did not, you know, I didn't have it fully enough to kind of get all the glass all the way to the edge. So it's got a little bit of an organic edge, but I think that's okay. It's gonna work fine for what I'm doing anyway. So I am not going to try to add more glass and refire it. Although I am gonna put it back in and let it spread out a little bit. It is a little thick. Uh, I also have some bubbles on the top. Again, not deal breakers for what I'm gonna do because this is gonna become wall art. This is not necessarily meant as a plate or platter, so I'd have more concern about these. But I'm gonna put this in and let it just smooth out a little bit more. Um, there's a few little pokey bits on the side, so I might knock those off with a little diamond pad. But overall, and unfortunately, it's probably not coming through on video as much as it could, but. The adventuring green, always love that stuff. This just looks amazing. and, and uh, But I'm also pleased with the level of irid that is in there. Some came to the surface or was on the surface, and so that gives kind of a cool look. But there's a lot that's trapped within that looks neat. And so it's just very shimmery, almost dichroic, really. Um, so very pleased with the irid. Love the vitrograph. I love the little flecks of dichroic that are in this solar vitrograph that came from Henry at SS Glass Art. So that's really super cool. So very pleased overall with this look. I'm gonna fire it again though, just to smooth it out one more time. Let it, it might grow just a little bit and it might round out a little bit more on the edges. So I'm gonna clean this up, fire it again, and then I will slump it. All right. I put this in to spread out. I wish that I had fully measured this before it went in, but I think it grew by about an inch on each side. And um, it is awesome. So I um, did not, remember I did not clean up the edges. So there's, it's just a little organic here. It did spread out quite a bit and become much more circular. Um, there's a couple of little indentations, but again, because I'm gonna be using this on the flouncy mold, uh, I really don't care about that because I don't think um, perfection in terms of a circle is what I'm going for here anyway. So really, really, really in love with the way this is looking and I cannot wait to put it on that flouncy mold from Creative Paradise and turn this into a really cool piece of wall art. So uh, let's go into the kiln and uh, I'll show you the layup on that uh, before we fire it. Okay, tried to get the camera above the kiln here the best that I could. So I have my flouncy um, ring here. This is the mold from Creative Paradise that gives you a really nice kind of rippled edge. Notice that it has a hole in the middle and I've placed, now I'm gonna have to replace it, but a clear little puck of glass, this little dome here that you see. This came from this mold, uh, GM266, the Flouncy's GM265. I'll post links to these things in the video notes. But um, these two can kind of work together. This GM266 is just a little casting mold that makes this, and then this becomes a foot that you can put on the back of uh, your piece, and uh, Ultimately, it'll sit on the table nice, or you can mount it to the wall. So I'll show you what that looks like uh, after a successful firing here. So <clears throat> I'm going to put this in for a slump, and I've put the foot in here so that when the glass slumps down, it's going to touch it and fuse to this and end up, uh, you know, creating a solid piece. So let me grab my glass. I have cleaned the piece up, and I will center it to the best of my ability. It does have a 
little bit of an organic edge to it, but it fits quite well actually on this. Um, this mold is 13 inches and that is almost exactly, uh, depending on where you measure, uh, what this turned out to be. So I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna take a look and make sure it's good. I'm gonna use the firing schedule that's recommended by the mold manufacturer since this is my first one. And you know, we'll see how it turns out. If uh, there are some adjustments that I want to attempt in the future, I will. But for now, uh, I'm gonna go with what was what recommended and I will also post that in the video notes. So fingers crossed, this has had a, a little bit of a high cry factor because there's a lot of cool glass in here, but uh, we'll see what it looks like when it comes out. Okay, here it is. I. Um pulled it out of the kiln and it is so wicked awesome. So here is the way this works. So you can see how that fused onto that foot. And so it serves as a footed plate if you want, or platter, let's see here, ball. Let's see if I can pull this down. See how that sits? So that could be a footed piece and look really cool. But the other, sorry, now I gotta mount this back up here. The other use for that or, or idea is to now wrap uh, a little bit of wire around here and create a hook that then this can hang on the wall without gluing anything, which I love. So uh, I'm going to do that. I'm gonna get some wire and uh, wire this thing up and hang it on the wall and take some photos. Okay, so I have some wire. I don't even know what gauge this is. It was relatively thin, but um, I twisted it. If you've never done this before, it's super easy. You take a, a long, long piece of wire, fold it in half so that you've got it laying next to each other, um, you know, uh, uh, almost a loop, if you will. And then you clamp the two loose ends of the loose ends of the wire into your power drill. So uh, where you put your bit in your power drill, you clamp this in and tighten it down super tight. And then on the other side where you've got now the loop that you formed, you just you know hold on to it with pliers or something and turn on your power drill and it's gonna twist your wire and make it you know a lot stronger. And I just go, go, go until it's got a nice tight twist on it. And then uh, I have done a rudimentary job here of just wrapping it a couple of times around the base and making a little loop at the top. I might come back and redo this to be a little bit better, but I'm just so eager to get it hung, I wanna go ahead and try that out. So that's how I did my wire. All right, and here it is on the wall. I just love this piece. Um, I guess you can also see the uh, piece of blue bullseye that I hung on the wall. I loved it, it looked just like art, and so that's been on my wall for quite a while. So anyway, back to this piece. I, I just, I think this is really, really cool. It was a little hard for me to get photos of it. Here's how you can see the back, how it's hung on the wall on my hook. And, uh, you know, the pieces just really shine and shimmer. It's kind of hard in photos to capture the dichroic and the iridescent. I tried to catch that here in this photo, at least the iridescent you can see a little bit better. Really, really pleased with this. I love this mold. I'm gonna put this up on my website and I think it's gonna get snatched up real quickly. Uh, so I'll get an opportunity to make more and more. Hope you enjoyed this video. Catch you later.